whoa. So I was eating breakfast downstairs and then suddenly like I was just reading Facebook and I was like, what the, an hour ago, trading? What? All right, I gotta go upstairs and then make this video. Um, let's just look at it, shall we? I didn't even look at this yet. I just saw the title. I'm like, really? Wow. And then with my fingers through my hair. All right, make ways for trading, Pokemon, gifting, trading, and friends. So I don't know if it's like a friend list or something, but um, let's see. We're excited to share brand new ways to interact with your friends in Pokemon Go. The friends feature will be rolling out trainer this later this later this week. Oh my God, nice! Allowing you to connect with your real life friends and keep track of their adventures in Pokemon Go. You need to you be able to send them items and bonuses and even trade Pokemon. There's the word trading, right? In order to add a friend in Pokemon Go, you must ask them to share their trainer code with you. To invite a trainer to become your friend, simply enter the code and send them a request. If they accept, you become friends and see them in your friend list. Nice, not ever friend list. But the thing is, do you have to be in the same vicinity though? Hmm, interesting. How many and is the limit to your friends? You have so many friends, like. Oh, you do. When you spin a photo disc at a Pokestop or a gym, you have a chance of receiving a special gift. Although you can't open the gift you receive from the stop, you can send them to a friend on your friend list. Uh, there must be a limit for this, though. So maybe the you can get like one gift per. It's a super rare chance, and if you do get it, you can give it to someone, which your friend will receive along with a postcard showing where you pick up your gift. Gifts can also include a special prize, an egg that when an egg that when hatch okay we contain a lower form of a pokemon originally discovered in the canton oh so you get a lower from this <laughs> it's like you're from hawaii and you said oh that pokemon you're sending a pokemon like that postcard that you see in sun and moon when you send a gift to a friend or participate in a raid or a gym battle with them you can increase your friendship level as your friendship level builds you unlock bonuses when you play together for example when you and a great friend great friend Best friend, great friend. <laughs> in a gym battle or raid together, you can earn an attack bonus to give your Pokemon the edge. You can increase your friendship level once per day per friend. Okay, per friend. Okay, that's fine. You can also build your friendship level by training Pokemon with your friend. But then you have to be a specific level, right? Because you have to unlock it, maybe? Um, if you're near a friend and have a trainer level of 10 or higher, you can trade Pokemon. Common friend. Okay, so you have to be nearby to trade, so. but you can be still be on a friend to do other things. That's what it looks like I'm reading. Completing and a trade earns a bonus candy for the Pokemon you have traded with. Oh, uh, bonus candy you trade away, right? Trade away, and that bonus can increase if the Pokemon you traded were caught in locations far apart from each other. Wow, interesting. All trades are powered by Stardust, and some trades require more Stardust than others. As you build your friendship level with the friend you are trading, you find that you can complete the trade with much less Stardust. So as you level up, you get even less Stardust to trade with. Um, we can look at these screenshots later. Certain Pokemon, such as Legendary Pokemon, Shining Pokemon, are not currently in your Pokedex. Require a special trade to complete. So keep in mind before trading that Golden Magikarp special trades can occur once per day with a great friend or best friend. So there's that best friend aspect, right? So I guess um, great friend and best friend. And it often requires a lot of starters to complete a special trade. Special trade are a great way to show a friend how much you care. Oh man. Uh, we'll look at this as we go. Okay, so let's get out there and explore. All right, let's look at the first screenshot here. Trading for a Moltres for Articuno 40k starters. Hmm, I wonder if you're trading two legendaries would. Or maybe it would still count as massive amount of Stardust. So here's the friend list here. Um, caught a Magikarp. Caught it. Oh, I'll just give you the latest what they caught, huh? Lavatar. And uh, that person got a shiny. Oh, jeez. Alright. And then here's the gift picture, a box king. Da -da -da. Okay, which gift do you want to send? Hmm. Oh, I see. So it has to put it has the landmark on there as a postcard. Yeah, very nice. All Pokemon except mythical. Hmm. 
Did it to unlock that bone? No, wait, it looked like you maxed out here as a good friend. Oh no, that's the first level. I see. I think, or I don't know. It has the. Let's see how that goes there with that part. Um, you trade with a friend only when you're near each other. Uh, how do they do that? Bluetooth, maybe? Is that is this how they're. So they introduce this first, maybe, and then PPP because you have to be near within each other. Um, trade for starters. The amount of starters needs to trade varies. So I'm assuming higher IVs, higher starters. You can reduce the amount by increasing your friendship level. Yes. Then your Pokemon Shiny are not currently in your Pokedex. Yep. Special trade. We just read that. You need to be 100 meters of a friend to start a trade. Depending on where the Pokemon is caught, the further away, the better. When you trade a Pokemon, you can see that range CP and HP that it could have. Oh, so it's based on CP and HP? Hold on. No, you see it. Okay. Uh, after you complete the trade, the stats of both Pokemon will change randomly to affect the new range. Wow, it actually changes. So it, oh, so even if you get a perfect Blissey or whatever you trade, it that's a chance to it will just it, it won't even be under maybe. But then you, what if you trade for a non high IV and then keep trading until you get a good IV? Huh, interesting. That's from what I read so far. Uh, yeah. So it gives you a range, but the maximum is that CP. So I guess if you have 100, then you can, yeah. So if you, you can't trade a lower IV and expect a higher one, but you can trade a higher one, and hopefully you get the same one. Ooh, I see, I see what they did there. There's that range. It's mostly like a Pokedex entry kind of thing, maybe. Uh, I guess that's it. Is that person actually named me, or is it just me? Hmm. Well, yeah, I don't really do Pokemon Go video too often because of um, nothing too exciting happening. But this is pretty exciting, and um, yeah, just subscribe and hopefully I will upload things based on different games I play and exciting news. So later days.